Hello again art classes, it's Mr. K back here in the garage again to do another art lesson with you. Today we're going to do a little bit of drawing. Doesn't require very many materials, but it's really simple and it's a great way to draw a person very quickly. Now I say it's simple because there's not that many things for you to do. That doesn't necessarily mean it's really super easy right off the bat, but it is a very simple process. We're going to learn how to do something called gesture drawing today. So our standards for the day are that we're going to explore art making techniques and approaches and our technique we're going to explore is gesture drawings. And when we're done with this, our objective is that students will be able to create a human form using a gesture drawing technique. Now, what is gesture? Let's talk about that a little bit. I just made a gesture. If you do this with your hands, that's a gesture. So they're talking more about making a gesture, kind of a circular gesture with your hands. And you'll see what I mean in just a second, because our artwork is going to look like, well, here, I have some wire here. It's going to look like somebody's wrapped in wire. Now, it's not going to, they're not going to have eyes and nose and fingers and all that. But I have some electrical wire here. And if I were to wrap this around, it's hard to do this without smacking myself in the face with the wire. If I were to wrap this around my arm lightly so I can get it off of my arm again. And so it's, you can see there's a line going around my arm. Don't do this at home, kids. There's a line going around my arm. So our artwork is going to look a little bit like, it's hard to get this off my hand. Sorry, guys. It's going to look a little bit like somebody wrapped a wire around your arm. So you can see those circles. It's going to look a little bit like that when we do our drawing. So I did a few here. Let's take a look at what mine look like. So here's some gesture drawings that I did. Now you'll notice on here, these people, they don't look super realistic. They don't have eyes and nose and fingers and all the little tiny details. But I'm using a circular gestural motion going around in a circle. Let me zoom in way far on this big guy here in the middle. And you can see all those lines. It's almost like a tornado or something. Or like I said, somebody's wrapped in wire. And we're gonna, so we're not going just straight back and forth. We're moving our pen or our pencil in a circular motion. Let's take a look at what we need to make this happen. All right, so our supplies for the day. First and foremost, the most obvious thing is a piece of paper. If you don't have just plain old paper, I'm just using copier paper, just plain, you know, paper you would get a, a homework copy on or something. If you have nice art paper or a sketchbook, totally use it. That's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. If you only have lined paper that you usually do your assignments on in class that you write on, that's okay too. We don't care. Doesn't really matter. Anything will do. And you need something to write with. A pencil will work great. A pen works pretty well too. If you had to choose between a pen or a pencil right now, I'd say pencil. The thing that I was using a moment ago were colored pencils. Those are going to look great when we do our, our, uh, our real picture. We're going to do a little warm up. You might need two pieces of paper and uh, we'll get started. with. Now before we get started, we want to talk a little bit about your grip. I got to get really low for this, but the grip on your pencil for this is super important. You guys are very used to, I see this all the time in class, and it's great because you, you've been taught, hold your pencil like this when you're writing, and you're going to write. You got your hand all the way down on the desk. Your elbow is like flat on the desk. You're pushing hard to make those letters show up when you're writing you know, sentences or paragraphs or whatever in class. That's great, but not for drawing. So what we want to do is you want to take that same grip and pull it about halfway back. This is going to make it a lot lighter and a lot uh, smoother so that we can make some big gestures. And we're just going to practice a little bit here. And now instead of having my, my hand all the way down on the table, we want to have it up a little bit. I'm going to kind of turn my hand over. And I'm just going to make some little circles. I don't know how well that's going to show up on the video right now from this angle. But I think I'll switch it back up top so you can see what I'm doing. Now that you can see, I have my, my pinky is just sort of 
anchoring my hand on the table. My left hand is just making it so I don't fall over because I have to lean over for the camera. But that you don't have to worry about that. And my arm isn't even really touching the table. I'm just kind of gently steadying myself, but I'm not leaning on, I'm not pushing down. It feels kind of weird. You're not used to it. That's okay. Practice with it. This is just a little warm-up. We don't care about this paper. It could look like, eh, who cares? We would turn it over, do it on both sides if you'd like, until you get a little more comfortable. Make some little circles, make some big circles. Let me show you from up top now. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to do a little warm-up. I've got my colored pencil. You can use just a regular pencil. It's going to, this is going to show up a little bit better on the video, I think. So we can make some, and my arm is just barely touching the table. I'm not leaning on it. I'm going to make some circles. See how they're just big loops? We're not going up and down. We don't have to push hard. This is if I push really hard, but it makes it hard to move easily. We want to move easily, move freely, maybe go down a few times. Just looks like a, you know, those little slinky toys. They look like a big coil and they go down steps that might look a little bit like that. You can make them a little closer together. Make them a little bigger. Get back to smaller. Bigger. Do a bunch of things like that until you start to get a little more comfortable with it. They overlap a lot. That's a good thing. We don't mind that. They don't have to be super wide like this. We're going to make a form of a person going this way. So go ahead and do lots of practice all over your paper. And now that we're all warmed up, we're going to go ahead and make something that's going to look a little bit like this. Now, these people are just kind of all over the place. They're not, they, they don't make sense together. They're just, kind of, it's just a bunch of human forms using these circular motions just all over the paper, all sorts of different sizes, just kind of floating around. We don't have to worry about actual gravity and realistic pictures. We're just gonna make people all over the place. And notice these people have these swirly, uh, loopy uh, forms, almost like they're wrapped in wire. They're not super realistic. Sometimes they get a little wide, sometimes they get super tight in here. As long as it goes around the area that we want to show as being which part of the body we are doing. I'm going to show you how that works. So we're going to take our blank piece of paper now and Go ahead and find any spot on here. We'll do one that's kind of medium sized. And we're gonna start with the head. And as always, go ahead and stop the video. You can do a little bit along with me. Stop the video and try it. Watch me, stop the video and try it. So go back and forth on that. And I'm going to start with a head up here. And I'm just gonna do some small little tiny circles that are gonna get bigger and then get smaller again so that I have a little a little head up there. You can't really see the circles on this. That's okay, We maybe you do, maybe you don't, that's okay. I need a little neck. It doesn't have to be very long. And now my shoulders, your shoulders are wide enough that you could fit a head on top of each shoulder. So that same width is about how far the shoulders are gonna stick out. So we're gonna just do the circles and we're just gonna go right straight down the torso the body, get down to the hips, and we'll stop there. Now we've got the top part of a person. Does it look super realistic? No, doesn't have to. Now that we got down here, I'm just gonna keep this going and make a leg. I'm just gonna have my person just standing there right now. Notice my circles are going this, I'm doing it really slowly so you can see it here. They're going around this direction. We don't have to be that precise with it. It goes better and it's easier actually if you go a little, a little bit faster. And I can just kind of make some circles here for the feet. I'm going to do the same thing for this leg. And bring out the feet a little bit. 
And I'll do the same thing with the arms. They're just going to kind of hang down and decide. I don't have to worry about hands. I can make little fists or something if I want. Get to the elbow and curve it in a little bit. There. Now I just have a person standing there. Kind of looks like a silhouette of a person. And what we're going to do is we can get some colored pencils. If you do one in each different color, if you have crayons or if you just want to use a pencil or a different color of ballpoint pens, that's kind of cool. That might work. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab whatever color. I'm going to put away my yellow and my white. They're not going to show up on here very well, especially with you trying to watch it on the video. If you want to do those at home, you can, but I, I don't know that they're going to show up very well. So let's see here. Let me make one that's a little bit bigger this time. Make a bigger head. And we can change the way this person is looking. Now this guy's going to be leaning forward a little bit. So my neck is going to come back here a little bit. And my shoulders are going to angle down. And I'm going to bring the torso around. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this person yet. Uh, oh, I know. I'll make my leg coming up this way. Like he's raising a leg. And then I'll bring the other part down. Remember, you got to bend at the knee. We're not just going to make a big curvy leg. Your legs don't do that. And there's my foot. And this leg, he's going to be kind of jumping. I got one leg going up and one leg jumping off of it. Trying to make the legs and the feet about the same length. And... This leg needs to be a little thicker, doesn't it? And you could come out a little further. You can make those adjustments afterwards. Bring this arm down here. And not sure, well, let's just put this arm up here. Maybe he's dancing or something, who knows. So he's just kind of going over this way. If you want to make one arm or leg or whatever go in front of everything else, uh, let's go up here. I'll make a person who is leaning over. I'm going to do my neck. Or so I need to curve that around a little bit and now my arm this the right arm is going to be kind of behind so I'm going to go very very light kind of with those excuse me lines and then I'm going to pick it up over here and then this arm I'm going to have it come down and in front of here so I'm going to you know I've been saying draw really lightly draw really lightly since this one's going to go in front, I can draw a little darker on that one. That way the dark one's going to look like it's in front. Uh, and this leg is going to look like it's behind. Like he's crawling along, like he's on his elbows. So there's an artist named Robert Longo, and he made a bunch of pictures that don't look anything like this, but they have people in different poses. It was his series called Men in the Cities, Men in the City, excuse me. And they had all these black and white drawings of people in all these different poses, and you couldn't tell if they were dancing or if they were hurt or if they were whatever it was it was it was kind of up to you to decide and I kind of feel like that's what these guys are doing these these people in these pictures you can't tell if they're falling or running or if they're you know are they if this guy's standing on his head is he is he diving into a pool or is this guy just uh you know doing yoga I don't know it's hard to tell I'll make the torso go in the other direction here. I'll have one leg. Whoops, that leg's kind of skinny at the top. 
One leg kind of going up this way. It's getting hard because my hand's getting too close to the edge of the pencil there. I gotta scoot it back. That's gonna make it easier. I'm gonna put some feet on there. So with any of these, you can just go ahead, test it out, try a few things, see what happens. If you want to do, you don't have to just do one piece of paper. And if that doesn't work, then you, you're at home. You can, you can do this as many different ways or as many different times as you want. You can switch it up. And uh, I'm going to make a few and let's see what happens with this one that I'm working on. <music> So there you have it. We have a finished drawing here. Get a nice close up here so you can see all those lines very nice and close. Got somebody who looks like he's playing baseball almost. Uh, here's our original guy just kind of standing there. I don't know what happened with this guy. He looks like he fell down or something. I don't know. I was thinking this guy looked like he was swimming, but I can't tell if he's flying or falling or swimming or what. Uh, this guy is... Uh, oh, he's doing a cannonball. That was it. He was holding his, holding his knee here with a hand. So it's more about just making people and seeing what they're doing, trying to think about what the form looks like, and just kind of an exercise for drawing, just to see how can you make people, how can you make the proportions uh, look a little bit more realistic even though they might not have you know, all the details that'll make it look realistic, how does the actual just overall form look? So that's it for today. Go ahead, play around with these. See how many of these you can make. Don't feel like you have to do it on one piece of paper. You're at home, like I said. If you have extra paper and you can do this, go for it. And uh, that's all for today. Enjoy, have fun, and I will see you next time.